Of course, this is Warcraft the beginning, which yes. insinuates there's going to be a middle and an end. Uh, is this something that you're kind of definitely on board with, keen to kind of explore further and get into these characters more so? Absolutely. I mean, there's contractually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if it does well, but I would be so... I think the I... beginning's more for the... Um, it's an introduction, the very start of the game, too. I would for... be excited to see the middle. I would want to do the middle with you. I love being in the middle. That's what, yeah. Yes, I... Yes, I like the it would be really fun. Yeah. I'd love to go back and do it. <laughs> and because uh, Travis, I mean, you have some big emotional scenes concerning your your son in the movie. I mean, can it be quite a challenge to to tap into those quite heartfelt, big emotions when you're in such a kind of fantastical environment and everyone's is so far away from kind of reality? I had a lot of puppies that died when I was young. Yeah. Oh, it's a really sad turn. This interview's just gone down. I'll liven it by asking. He's a cool guy, but he's got no special powers. Did you ever kind of look at Ben Foster or Ben Schnetzer and just think that's a bit unfair, really? That the spell you chappers. guys have got these blue powers, and I've just got a sword. Um, yeah, no, it's interesting. I don't know why they don't use it more. I don't know why I need a sword. They should just be yeah. take care of business. And were you jealous? Is what sure. he's asking. A bit jealous, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. And, and Paula, you mentioned that you spoke before that you took your son onto the set yes. of this movie. Yes. I mean, that must be really cool that you can kind of involve him in this experience and, and show him the kind of. The, the way it all kind of works, the industry, is particularly for a film of, of this nature. No, it was incredible. I mean, if there was a movie to bring my son to that he could enjoy more, it was this. It was horses and people all dressed up and he loved he, the idea of mommy work. And mm. so every day I'd have these rubber orc ears and I'd take them off and, and one day he said, I really want to wear them. And so I have this great photo and video of him wearing these orc ears. And he, so he just, it was fun. I mean, I think it speaks to, again, the idea of being a child that it couldn't be a better place to walk into. Yeah. And when you see kind of his, uh, his eyes kind of light up and he walks onto this set, I mean, does that remind you just quite how special a vocation this is? It really is. No, it does. It makes me so, I'm very thankful. I'm, I'm doing what I love, and, 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 and when you're doing it in a movie like this, it feels like that first love of what turns you on about movies, that it's just this magical world where, I mean, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no cellular, <laughs> like there's like a completely made up universe, and that's, you know, that's what you live for, it's, it's exciting. Uh, Travis, coming up, you've got the All Quiet on the Western Front uh, ad new adaptation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just wondering, I mean, th this is a film that's kind of steeped in cinematic royalty. What can we expect of, of this new kind of take on, this new adaptation on this story? I think it's a, it's a wonderful book, mate, and um, hopefully I don't mess it up. You know, it's a wonderful <laughs> book, and uh, the original movie is such a great movie, and really excited to work with our Roger Donaldson, another Australian. Yeah. And, uh, just finally, I mean, of course, this this interview, I mean, we're doing it for the theatrical release and we're holding some back for the home entertainment release. Okay. So on that note, uh, the, when the DVD the, and the Blu-ray does come out, do you guys ever watch the special features? Because, I mean, we all do. We really enjoy them. But when you've made a movie and you've got, like, the kind of behind the scenes and the, when you've got the director giving their kind of directors... Mm. I love watching other people's watch movies. Yeah, I like, I like yeah. watching other films, yeah. not my own. I actually watch it before the movie most of the time. What do you? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. When you watch the DVD? The uh, outtakes and that, yeah. Does yeah. it ever get normal watching yourself on screen? Have you ever, have you got to a point now in your careers where you're able just to watch it and go, yeah, that's me, that's cool? Or is it still that kind of, oh God, <laughs> that's me? <laughs> it's very hard to look at yourself, yeah. I think. I think you watch it for the other, see what the other guys did in the film. Yeah. You know, I that's watch true. it for Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Alone. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Anyway, on that well, on, well, wonderful note, thank you so much for your time today. Thank yeah, you very much. Bye, so thank, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.